Well, how you doing tonight? Mr. DJ back. Uh, my first video. It is 18 until midnight on a, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday night. And uh, counting, down, counting down my fantasy playlist of April the 9th, 1988. At number 24, up eight notches from 32, Brian Ferry, Kiss and Tail. I don't know if I would consider this a lost 45. This song is tailor-made for Starbucks. The Starbucks music, which they play in the background, it just fits hand and glove in that environment. It was not a big FM hit at all, not here in America. And even in England, it didn't make top 40 in Britain, although it did come close. Adult, uh, you still hear this some on the adult satellite radio stations that play the adult music or the adult rock music every now and then. You'll hear this Brian Ferry song. I know I've heard this a bunch of times on satellite radio over the years. Brian Ferry, a Foxy, uh, not Foxy, Roxy Music. Roxy Music, he formed Roxy Music back in 1970. One of the original members of Roxy Music was Brian Eno. First hit record was in 1972 called Virginia Plain in England. That went top five. Their biggest hit here in America was uh, Love is a Drug. That was in the winter and spring of 1976. Uh, made top 30 for them. And uh, Kiss and Tell by Brian Ferry. He started pursuing his solo career in 1973 when he was still with Roxy Music. Now, Kiss and Tell is a direct slam at Jerry Hall. He was going out with Jerry Hall, and she wrote a book. It was, well, it's a Kiss and Tell book that had some not-so-flattering things to say about Brian Ferry. They were, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend at one time. The song is taken from a film called Bright Lights, Big City. Always looking dapper. It seems like every time I saw Brian, uh, Brian, Adams, Brian Ferry, rather, he was wearing a tie or a suit. Well, here he is at number 24, Kiss and Tell, on my fantasy playlist. April 9th, 1988. 